today presenting myself just a little bit more because yesterday we haven't got a lot of time. So uh, my name is Yossi Shuvit. I am uh, the director of the Benji Center. The Benji Center is the first entrepreneurship center in an academic institution. We're leading more than 150 events each year, um, including international hackathons, unconferences, meetups, whatever you have in mind, you probably have it. We have four communities deal with innovation and ecosystem. Uh, we have international competitions. We have acceleration program, a tech hub, and all of this is under the umbrella of the Benji Center. I'm also the founder and the CEO of my consultancy firm called Yosma Consulting. We are working with very big organization, helping them to find all sorts of opportunities in Israel, uh, including startups, people, etc. We work with a lot of startups each and every year. And one of the main things that we are doing is trying to help startup to be among the 2% that do get the first investment from investors. Now, today I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about how to present in front of judging committees, in front of investors. But there are a few questions that you should start with. Now, what are the main questions that you're supposed to have in mind just before you are giving a presentation? Any kind of presentation. Who is your audience? Great. It's really important. What else? Why? Why are you giving this presentation? Great. What else? Action points. Excuse me? Action points. Action points. Okay. What you want to see, what you want to present. Okay. Great. So, yeah. The most important question is who is your audience? In regards to this hackathon, today, 4 o'clock, if I'm correct, you are going to present your ideas. Who is your audience? You. The, jury. Yeah. the jury. No, I'm not part of the jury. Who is your jury? That, that guy. That guy? Who? No. They sleeping. They're sleeping right now. Yeah. They want to prepare. Okay. But what are the names of your judging committee? It's really important. Yeah. What are they doing? So this is your judging committee. These are the people that will be the one to decide who is the winner and get the first prize? Okay? Four, you know, flights to Miami, a lot of food, great hotels. You want to win this, I believe. So if you want to win, these are the people. Now it's really important to know your pe the, these people because each and every one of them have the same characteristics. First, they are all human beings, okay? Now, it's important to understand that these judges are human beings. They are getting bored. They have a load on their mind. Think about it. From 4 o'clock, they are going to see 11 presentations. It's really hard. They need to stay focused. And if you want to help them, they won't really remember you. You won't create the impact that you, are, you would like to have. Okay? You need to remember that they have their own thoughts, their own beliefs their own needs, okay? So for example, this great lady, Biruta, I believe, it's really hard for us, the Israeli, to pronounce your names, but it's great. Okay, so Biruta, for example, what he, uh, she needs from this hackathon? What kind of ideas will interest her? Think about it. Now, read a little bit about these people. Maybe when you are pitching, you should talk about specific ideas that be relevant for them. It will help them remember you, okay? Now, the second thing that we should remember is how long and how much time we have. So you have only four minutes. It's not a lot. So how you can do all of this? And the most important question, what would lead to your success? What will make you win? So, take your cell phones. We are going to show you a very important slide right now, okay? Get ready. This is what will make you win. This is uh, these are the judging criteria for tonight. Okay. Okay, everybody has pictures. <laughs> okay. So judging criteria. This is how you are going to be judged. Okay. So relevance. Is your idea relevant to the main theme of this hackathon? Okay. Feasibility. Will it work? Okay. Are you going to beam students to Mars just to learn about the ecosystem over there? Oh, probably not, okay? So think about feasibility, social impact and innovation, 
really, really important. What is so unique about you? And if it's about social impact, what kind of social impact you are going to make? And the, the last thing is level of innovation. These are the most important thing. Now you have only four minutes, and we are talking about human beings here. And human beings, just like us, really like stories. Now when you are going to pitch, you are not going to present a presentation. You are going to tell a story, and the presentation is going to help you. Okay? Keep that in mind. The presentation is not the most important thing. Only if you tell a story, people will be able to relate to the story. Now, this is the flow that you can use in order to tell your story and make it count. The first thing, and you had the chance of working with the mentors yesterday and hear their remarks. One of the main remarks that they gave you is so what are you doing, okay? Start with a very short sentence, just explain me what you are doing. In many cases, there are teams that start presenting and they, will, they say, well, we will, be, uh, we will build the, the, the uh, we will make the, the audience really want to hear what we are doing, so we will start by a very sad story. No, you're supposed to start with what you are doing, okay? So very short sentence, what you are doing. Then talk about the problem what we're trying to solve. Then, who is your target audience? How many people suffer from this kind of problem? Is it a lot? Okay? Maybe it's not a lot of people. Maybe it's relevant to many countries around the world. Later on, talk about your revenue model, how you are going to make money, and then what kind of social impact you are going to make, and then about your team. Now, Let's focus on each and every one of these aspects, okay? Vision, elevator pitch. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? No, okay, what is your startup? What is your idea? How you are going to change the world? One sentence. Okay, think about it. When I am going to wake you up in the middle of the night, you're supposed to know what you are doing and tell it in just one sentence. Who can give me one sentence about what you are doing? Just one sentence. Yeah. We are making learning personalized, efficient, and future ready. Okay. So what is it doing? Uh, there's something doing good, but uh, I can't throw it. Okay. Yeah. What is it doing? Still a bit too broad, you know? Okay? Anyone else? What are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? One sentence. We're making the financial literacy Okay, so we know that it is an app. It's going to be fun and? Okay, so it teaches you about financial aspects. Financial literacy. Okay, so now we know. This is an app. It is fun. And it's focused on very specific and important aspect called financial literacy. This is a great sentence. Thank you very much. Giving him a hand. Okay? Okay, great. So, what you're supposed to do is to come up with this kind of sentences. And this is a very good sentence. A digital solution for language learning. Okay? Great. Now we know. What is a digital solution? Probably it's a computer, probably it's an app, something like that. Okay? A platform that teaches things to code. Everybody understand what they're doing? Great. So this is the start of your presentation. Everybody understand exactly what you're doing. Now you should test this sentence because this is a very important sentence. You should send this, this sentence to several of your friends. Ask them, what do you think I do? If they don't understand, this is a bad sentence. If they're giving a sentence just like this, you probably have the best elevator pitch, okay? Now you have a lot of things that you can focus in regards to ad tech. Immersive technologies, uh, early child learning, all of these are great. But just after your elevator pitch, you should present the problem. Now when you're talking about the problem, you really need to remember that this is a very important part that could be the one that help your judges to relate to your story to understand the story, to feel something about your story. Now when you are talking about it, you should talk 
about a use case. Start with one person. If I will tell you, well, you know, in the last 40 years, more than 70 million people died because of earthquakes or, I don't know, because of uh, wars. Okay, this is just a statistic. But if I will talk to you about just one person. Now, Yuri was a young soldier at the age of 19. He had a very nice girlfriend called Tatiana. And he was a Russian soldier that went to a war 25 years ago. Now, while he was in the war, uh, he found out that um, the Russian army doesn't give him the right clothes. Not the right weapons, but the wrong clothes. Okay, now I want to ask you a few questions. What is the, the name of this uh, young soldier? What is the name of his girlfriend? Tatiana. How many people die in wars? 70 million. Okay. What is the main problem that you found out during the war? Closing. Closing. Okay. Now you can see that you remember everything I said. And the reason for that is because I told you a story. Now, think about your story. Now this young lady is, what is her name? Give me a Lithuanian name. Biruta. Biruta. Okay. This, this is Biruta. Biruta is sitting in class with the rest of her 25, uh, 25 other uh, young uh, teenagers, and she is really, really bored. She is really bored because she can't really understand what her teacher is talking about. And the reason for that is that Biruta, well, don't tell her, but she has ADHD. Do you know what is ADHD? Attention disorder. Excuse me, one, once again? Great. Now, as you can see, I'm going to talk about HDHD, but basically, most of the people don't know anything about it. So I should talk and explain what is ADHD in such a way that everybody will understand, okay? So, basically, your brain works differently. It, it makes a lot of problems to the people who have ADHD, and I present it, okay? So, start with a story something that people can relate to and then talk about the market just then you multiply Biruta by tens of millions of people now when I multiply a story about one person that have a specific problem it becomes a huge problem a problem that everybody can understand a problem that everybody want to deal with okay so the way of presenting this is in this kind of way. How many people? Okay, so um, when you see this wheelchair, write down 75 million, pro pe million people, just like Bruto. Now when you multiply it, this is a huge problem. And your judging committee will remember that, okay? And what you see over there, this is the 6% is the gross. You can say that the market is growing all the time. And when you're presenting a big market and a big trend, everybody wants to work with you. Everyone wants to figure out what is your solution. Okay? So as you can see, all I've done is just to explain the problem in a different kind of way. Okay? And then I keep on presenting the market, okay? So as you can see, there is a growth over the years. Over the years, so many people suffer from it. Think about Biruta, she's sitting in class. Her grades are very, very bad. She's a very nice lady, but probably she will have a very hard future. And then, when I present it, you're trying to figure out, okay, so what you want to do? No, I'm not going to talk about what I'm doing. Oh, oh just before that. Uh, this is a very, very nice way of getting all this data, okay? Using Google, but in a different kind of way. If you want to collect data about the market, what you should do is to write down ADHD statistics or market or industry, okay? And then go to pictures, to images. When you go to images, what you see is all sort of charts. These charts will allow you to find the data that you need. Now, 
This is the right way of doing that, but you should limit your search to the last year. Why it is so important to limit your search to the last relevant. year? What? Relevant. It's more relevant. It's update data. Okay, so this is the way of searching data, and I saw yesterday that you had some problems finding data. So this is the right way, and when you find the right chart, just press on it, there will be a link, and this link will connect you to a research. Okay, but just after we are talking about the market and how big it is, and we know that there are 75 million birutas around the world, okay, we should explain why we are so unique, okay? What is so innovative about us? And the way to do it is very, very easy. You need to understand that there, are, there is a very big competition about just anything that you will have in mind. A lot of competition in each part, in each sector, in subsector of the ad tech sector, you will find a lot of competition, okay? probably hundreds, maybe thousands of different kind of solution, digital solutions. So the way of dealing with that is to understand that you have a competition and create a competitive analysis. Now, how you do that, this is the way of doing this, a table, okay? So on the upper side, you should present your competitors. On the side, you will present the, 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 the elements of comparison, okay? How fast, how smart, uh, price, okay? Who uh, is the niche that you trying to get, okay? And then what you will see is something like that. Don't add words. Just V, uh, X, minus, plus, one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. It will allow us to fully understand what is so unique about you. Okay, so for example, you are doing all of the things, okay, but the other competitors don't do it. And by that, when the judging committee will sit here and try to figure out what is so innovative about you, you will tell them, okay. So the main things that we do and our competitors don't is the following things. And this is very important because this is what, how we make all the difference. Okay, this is another way of presenting it. Try don't, not to have more than four competitors and more than five different elements of comparison. The reason for that is, once again, judging committee is just a part, uh, uh, several human beings are trying to figure out what you're writing here, okay? So take some time. Don't use a lot of words. If you want the most important tip for your presentation, don't have more than six words in each and every one of your slides. Too many words, it's a lot of problem. Because when you put words, people will try to read them. If they are trying to read, they won't be able to hear. If they are trying to read and hear all in the same time, they won't understand anything. So you can have a lot of slides, but don't have a lot of words, okay? Now your solution just after presenting what is so unique about you in this competitive analysis, you can start talk about your idea. Start with something basic, something that everybody can understand, a picture, okay? So we were talking about ADHD, okay? Uh, and what he was doing is basically uh, um, some sort of service which is being done based on a physical kind of gadget that you put on your head, and it's pre prescribed by doctors. It doesn't require any drugs, okay? And you should wear, wear it for 20 minutes, okay? For 15 days, and then it will help you with your HDHD, okay? So this is the way to start. Later on, okay, this is another way of presenting it, okay? So. Our solution deal with two types of uh, customer, the exhibitors and uh, the organizer. Um, what we are doing for the exhibitors is to create a multi-platform management tool, okay, and uh, targeting marketing. And for the organizer, we are saving time and do some marketing. But keep in mind that in almost all of your solution, there is a very important word you should use. 
It's called integration. What you're doing is basically to integrate several technologies all together, and when they are working together, you create your magic. So try to figure out what is your technologies. Now, after presenting this slide, which presents your idea in a very general kind of way, you can say, well, we have several sensors that collect data from your brain, okay? And then there is a screen that show you some whatever, what kind of, some kind of movie, okay? And then it helps you relax. And then by using, um, I don't know, specific algorithm, it helps the doctor know what is your specific problem, okay? So what kind of technology are they just presented? Sensors, helmet, okay, what else? Algorithm of some sort, probably AI. Screen something, okay. So I connected several technologies together in order to create my magic, okay. So this is the idea. This is the way that you should present it. Don't make it too long. Make it very basic because you don't have a lot of time. And the way of presenting something in a very short kind of way even if you don't have developers in your team, is probably to present some sort of a mock-up. How the screen is supposed to look like, okay? It's really, really easy, okay? Think about it. I can teach you how to do that, okay? Now, these are all sort of technologies that probably you are using, okay? Um, from robotics, virtual reality, AR, okay? All sort of um, the blockchain, just talked about blockchain yesterday. Internet of Things, sensors, whatever you have in mind, just tell us what type of technology you are using. The judging committee will know all about these technologies and it will better explain them what you are trying to do. Another thing is to talk about your business model. In most cases, okay, it will be important. I'm pretty sure that today it will be important as well. We want to know how you make money. So Tim Cook talked about one type of business model in something he said. When an online service is free, you are not the customer, you are the product. Okay, what kind of business model he is talking about? Who is using it? Think about it. How do you make money by not asking for money? Uh, collecting data doing advertising and personalize these advertisements. So we getting your approval to collect data. This data cost money, a lot of money, okay? And because of that, the biggest marketing companies in the world are? Google and? Facebook. Great, they know everything about us, okay? And by that, you understand what kind of business model you can have. So these are different types of business models that you can have. Probably at the beginning, some of your business model will focus on freemium because you are creating a new technology and you want different type of uh, a customer to use this kind of solution. And the premium aspects will allow your future customers to enjoy your solution a bit more. So this is freemium. A marketplace allows you to connect buyers and sellers in a platform that you are creating, okay? Think about it. Um, ad supported, we just talked about it. Subscription model, okay? Think about it from time to time. Maybe your solution could be one that uh, you sell a subscription for a specific period of time, okay? On demand, just like Uber, if you need a specific service just right now, um, it's Uber Bolt, I believe, that you have here, okay? And affiliation, affiliate. Now, what is the problem with this slide? I just want to hear if you find any kind of problem. It's a small one, but I saw it in your presentations as well. It's a lot of text. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of text, but yesterday you, you were pretty good. You haven't got a lot of text. Capital letters, you see? From time to time, it's really hard for your judges. They see only this. So even small mistakes could become very big ones, okay? 
So keep that in mind. So your prototype, we talked about it a little bit earlier. So this is the way that you can show it. Even if you don't have a developer, it's perfectly fine. Just take a few icons and put it like this. And you can say, okay, so uh, this is uh, my online platform which allows you to know if there is some kind of a problem in your house. So what is the problem right now in my house? What is the problem? What? There is a problem. What? Gas problem. Yeah. And when you get this message, you can say, well, okay, I want to allot something, someone, okay, or I want to get some more details, okay? And then, if I press that I want to get more details, okay, so this is what I see. Now, I'm pretty sure that each and every one of you can do these two slides, okay, these two slides, this one and this one, in just half an hour. You don't need a developer. This is just a mock-up. But this mock-up will allow us to fully understand what you are trying to do, to understand what is your vision. So think how you can do that, okay? So this is another way of presenting a mock-up. There is a series of pictures, a series of screens, okay? So you wake up in the morning, you don't know what you want to wear, so we know what you have in closet, so we uh, try to figure out where you're going to go. You are going to give a presentation for you, okay? Or maybe you want to go uh, to the park with your kids. And we will tell you what you probably need to wear based on the weather, okay? And what is the last screen just here in the uh, right corner? Think about it. The last screen over there with the shoes. This is the business model, okay? Okay, so we know what you have in your closet, but we want to offer you to buy a few other items that might be really, really relevant for you. So this is the way that we can show our idea. Now, social impact. This is another thing that you probably will be judged upon, okay? So try to figure out what will be the impact of your solution. And there are a lot of things that you can talk about in regards to ad tech, okay? So uh, it's improved access to education. So for example, if you are in a third world country and you don't have good education or it costs a lot, okay, so you, uh, you, you deal with that, okay? So it makes learning interesting. This is one of the biggest problems today, okay? Because it is boring to go to, pl to class. How we make it much more interesting. So you should talk about it. But when you are talking about it, please bring numbers. If you don't bring numbers, it seems like your idea and what you are saying is just something you had in mind and uh, you, you believe it is good. You should bring numbers and there are numbers all around. You just need to look for them, okay? So this is the way you can present uh, uh, the, the, the impact of your idea, okay? Um, this is another way. It boosts grades, it saves time, it improves the education, okay? Give us numbers. Now, in most cases, once again, you will be able to find it in Google. Pictures. Okay, limit your um, search to the last year. Look for numbers. Numbers are good for you. And the, first, the last thing that you might want to present is what is your next steps? Because the judging committee is supposed to figure out what will be the future, okay? So this is um, two slides from a presentation that I made for one of the startups that I'm working with. And it present what they're doing. Um, and with each stage, they're talking about what they're trying to do. Okay, so in the next six months, we are going to create a UX, UI interface and create an algorithm. And later on, we'll focus on other things. And in one and a half year, we'll finish to do specific things. And for each one of these stages, we need a different amount of money, okay? So this is something that you can do pretty fast. You have mentors. If you don't know about um, technological aspects, and you have other mentors, you know a little bit about business, so we'll be very happy to help you. We have these red scraps, okay? And finally, the team. The team is really important. Now, the way you should talk about the team is why you are superstars, why you are the right team, why you are the best team to promote this idea. And when you are talking about your team, you should have 
a slide which includes your faces. So try to have these faces pictured in the same place. So for example, uh, usually it's supposed to be near a white wall, okay? You're supposed to have behind you a white wall and you should uh, have smiling faces or do like crazy kind of, uh, of a picture. But you should talk about where you graduated from, okay? And what kind of experience you had. Once again, try to put pictures, not words. Words are bad for you. So this is Airbnb. What is the problem with this presentation? Well, this slide, sorry? Too much text. Too much text. Yeah, you're right. Okay? Now, do's and don'ts, and we will finish and give you the opportunity to keep on working. So this is, once again, another slide that we used. Okay? This is the first slide. What do you see here? All about them. All my money. Not a lot of text, but what do you see here? We have a logo. We have name. name. And one liner, the elevator pitch. This is the way that you should start your presentation, giving everybody the understanding what you are doing. Okay, so all in one platform for work and time management. Okay. Later on, um, what I wanted to show you is uh, there is a um, um, website called uh, Flaticon. Flaticon allows you to download icons. I really like icons. It's really easy to work with icons, okay? Because it's really clean. You don't need to use words. Now, when you use Flaticon, you can download any kind of icons you want in PNG, okay? So basically, it will work with any kind of background that you will have, and you can change the 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 the, the, the size and and the, the color of the icons, okay? And use it. It's free, okay? Now another thing. Just as a reminder, you should make uh, uh, your presentation engaging. You should tell a story. Maybe even ask a very, very short question, okay? Uh, you should uh, limit each slide to one idea, okay? You can have a lot of ideas, okay? Think about it. We started our presentation 30 minutes ago. How many slides do you think that we covered up until now? 50. 50? 20. 20. 30, let's see. Right now, we had 65 slides. 65 slides in just half an hour. You can do the same. By the way, I can send you a link to the best presentation in 2016, I believe, in a very big competition. In eight minutes, the presentation moves through 100 different slides. Everything is pictures. The biggest amount of, uh, uh, of words is four per slide. Think about it. You are telling a story. When you hear a story, when your mother read your story when you were four years old, what was the most important thing in the story, in the book? Picture probably, huh? Yeah. The judging committee, think about them as kids. You are telling them a story. They really, really like pictures something that they can relate to about their problems, about their kids. And by that, you will get their interest, okay? Now, know your metrics. Metrics means numbers. Bring numbers, don't bring thoughts, okay? Don't have bullets. Bullets are not good for you, okay? Don't make it too long. Uh, right now, we are after 33 minutes from the beginning of our presentation, and you are a bit bored. And because of that, I want to thank you all for your time. It was a pleasure working with you. Don't use small phones, and don't come up prepared, okay? So have this presentation a few times, okay? And try and figure out if you are good or not. Film yourself. You will learn a lot by filming yourself, giving the presentation, okay? How you stand, how you walk, how you touch your body, okay? It's really important. That's about it. Thank you very much for your time.